We play a round called Mock Out with your cock out. This game <laughs> involves Ellis and Gary. So if you could make your way to the performance area, please. This round is a sound of challenge. I launched a wheel of news and whoever chooses to stop, one of our performers will step forward and talk about that subject. OK, here we go. Let's spin the wheel. The first step you did is life stages. Who wants to come in on that? Ellis. <laughs> I've uh, got a very young kid and one of the things I've noticed about fatherhood is that it's turning me into a dad, right? I've started doing this thing <laughs> that, uh, when I'm excited, I've only ever seen, uh, usually Welsh, usually very working class dads do when they're excited, and I call it the clap and run, okay? So, if my mum, for instance, said, uh, oh, I can't be bothered to uh, cook tonight, why don't we have fish and chips? My dad, because he'll excited, will go, fish and chips, fish and chips. <laughs> have started doing that now, but when I'm doing it, I'm like, what the hell is going on? <laughs> Why am I clapping and rubbing my hands? But it's an amazing thing, the clap and rub, because it's so versatile. You can use it to display excitement about anything. So you're like, uh, oh, I'm going out for a, a drink with my friend Dennis. <laughs> oh, the inquiry found me not guilty. <laughs> Another thing with uh, having a baby is I think it brought on a midlife crisis. One of the first things I did when she was born was I joined a boxing club, like a proper spit and sawdust South London boxing club. I don't want anyone to be frightened at home because uh, I'm not hard bloke because uh, my level boxing is almost exclusively skipping. Um, <laughs> Absolutely incredible at skipping now, but I don't know how this is going to help me in a one-on-one -on -one combat situation. I'm so be walking down to Mali away late at night, and a bloke will be like, "Oi, give me your phone and your wallet." I'm like, "Why are you mugging me? Yeah, I'm mugging you. Yeah, you mugging me. Yeah, I'm mugging you. Yeah, yeah, yeah." Well, try it. <laughs> OK, that leaves us with Gary. Let's see what you've been left with. Let's spin the wheel. And the topic is relationships. <laughs> the other day, a woman described me as a bit of a looker. Well, voyeur was the actual <laughs> word that she used. I used to go out with a parachutist with IBS, but she shat on me from a great height. <laughs> One time I nearly had a threesome with my girlfriend and my best friend and the only thing that stopped it happening was they didn't invite me. <laughs> my girlfriend said she wanted to try some new condoms with something special inside to boost her pleasure. I said, oh, what's that? She said, other men. <laughs> Our fourth child was called Ivy and that's because we ran out of names and started using Roman numerals. <laughs> My last girlfriend was always trying to put me down, which is just one of the hazards of going out with a vet. <laughs> I tried reading a book on premature ejaculation, but I couldn't get past the opening passage. <laughs> this Christmas, I'm taking the whole family to Lapland, which is great, because normally those clubs don't let kids in. <laughs> I always worry when a woman sees me naked for the first time that she's just going to scream and run out of the park. <laughs> My girlfriend and I love watching box sets. We got three episodes into Orange is the New Black before finding out it wasn't about what would happen if Trump replaced Obama. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. Well done. Point in that round. Going to Come on.